previously on GP Coasters. Yeah, and uh, the day is not over yet because after this, we're gonna hit Fun Spot, both of them. So, Orlando and Kissimmee. All right, we're here at Fun Spot Orlando, stop number one of two before we hit Kissimmee. And uh, I believe there's a couple of credits here we're gonna grab, so we're gonna check, uh, check those out now. I'm really excited about this one. Uh, yeah, check that out, guys. The old, uh, the old hang and bang over here. It's no flying ace, but it'll do. It's the best Florida has to offer, I guess. So uh, check let's, it out. Yeah, let's get it. Thoughts on Freedom Flyer? Uh, you know, actually it was uh, smoother than I anticipated. Uh, you know, it's just a couple of helixes. That was about it. <laughs> Nothing to write home about, but you know, it was pretty fun. And uh, definitely it didn't feature the over-the-shoulder restraints. It had just the lap bar, so yeah. uh, it's unfair to call it a hanging bang. I take that back because there's nothing to bang your head on. So you just hang, but you don't bang. Right. All right, it's go-kart time. About to see who is mice and who are men. We just got off of uh, the chaotic go karts. It's not really a way to like. Uh, is that what it was? Chaotic. <laughs> I guess not really. It was. It was kind of pre-planned. Basically, the way that the position you start in is the position you're going to finish in. There's really no passing. Uh, you know, without bumping someone and making them spin out, which right. is not encouraged. So, yeah, they say not the bad It was fun though. It was fun. I, I dug it. It's a good time. White Lightning is good to do. Ah, now we're about to head over to White Lightning, uh, get this GCI cred real quick, and uh, our first Woody of the trip. So, you know, that should be something cool. Yeah, you see that. Uh, an aptly named company because they do make some great coasters internationally. Well, we're here. <laughs> These other riders are here, but there's no op in sight. So instead of one train op, it's no ops. No ops trains. <laughs> hey guys, I'm standing on the handrails. Somebody come stop me. So, we just got off our second ride. Uh, so that kind of tells you right there if we liked it or not, because we hopped right back on before we even uh, did a reaction. Yeah, that thing hauls. So fast. Uh, you know, it's just uh, it's the bread and butter of what GCI does. They just make trains that haul. Uh, those Millennium Flyer trains are incredible. Uh, it was intense. Had some nice air, a couple lateral moments too. Uh, you know. The back end, and then like a, a really good air time go before, like a double down before that. Yeah. Thumbs up. Thumbs up all day. Yeah. You know, I was kind of curious as to this wristband. Is it really worth it? It seemed like it was kind of pricey. After getting off that, it's, that's worth it alone right there. Because I would not want to buy one $10 ticket just to ride that thing once. I'd be super salty because you got to ride. That's a re-rideable all day. Yeah. And it's even better at night. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, thumbs up all day. Digging the artwork, uh, we've all been there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for Fun Spot Orlando, but that doesn't mean the vlog's over yet. That just means the first part of the vlog's over. Yeah, interesting thing about this place, and I don't know if it's just that it's a really slow night or something, but you gotta get the op to come over and run the rides for you because there's less ops than rides here. Yeah. So we were walking to White Lightning one time and the, the, the ops that were working there kind of saw us and ran back to the ride to, to run the ride. So that's interesting. I, we never had that experience before. Well, I guess we're going to find out if the other location is like that because we're about to head over to Kissimmee now. Yeah. Stay tuned. We'll be right back in like two seconds. Uh, old 
fun spot in Kissimmee. Yeah, round two. Yeah. And uh, it's raining a little bit. I don't think that's going to affect anything, but just to be safe and make sure we get this credit, or at least I get the credit, you've already got the credit, but we're going to hit Mind Blower first. Yeah, exciting. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, so yeah. I didn't really do my homework before riding this. Did not know that it inverted. So, uh, yeah, that was a pleasant surprise. We kind of came around that corner. And I'm like, wait, what? It inverts? Did not know that. Shout out to Gravity Group, man. That was phenomenal. Yeah, it, it, it kind of rests right outside my top 25. Yeah, I can see why now. That makes perfect sense. Um, it's up there, man. I'm kind of glad we did the fun spots in the order that we did because I think that white lightning would have kind of paled in comparison after this so white lightning is still a good ride though. oh it's 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 fantastic yeah. but it's just different you know this is to me it's it's just a bigger a bigger scale um, just that inversion man and that first drop is good too man that is a steep first drop but yeah uh, as you can tell we're looping right back around Time to go again. All right, we just caught this new credit right here, guys. And when I tell you there was sick ejector, it's an understatement, right? Yeah. That stuff was, was ridiculous. It was, it was non-stop gray out. Eat your heart out, I-305. Well, now it's time to spin around in circles on a wild mouse. But hey, a credit's a credit, right? Yeah, but I'm not looking for it. <laughs> Me after, uh, either. Not after two hours of sleep on a bus and all day at sea room. Yeah. Another four hours. Let's do it. Bus. Let's get scrambled. So, uh, what are your names and where are you from? Um, I'm Kobe. I'm from here in Orlando and I love my blower. Nice. And what's your name? Where are you from? My name's Ryan. I'm from Chicago. Nice. Uh, I love this ride. Love it. Nice. Yeah. yeah we... my first time coming here. Better Same here. What's, what's, your, uh, what's your favorite roller coaster or one of your favorites? Um, I love, I, I, I really like Steel Vengeance. El Toro, Skyrush, those are like probably my top three. Nice. I think I like my favorite coaster is Helix, I-305, and El Toro. Nice. Great meeting you guys, though. All right, guys, Will. That pretty much wraps up our fun spot vlog of both Orlando and Kissimmee. Yeah. We uh, kind of came and saw and did what we uh, came to do. <laughs> I mean, you got mind blower. There's not much to see here. You see here, you got mind blower, the spinning wild mouse coaster, and then the kitty coaster, which uh, almost ripped our legs off on the top of those windows. <laughs> yeah, and our arms too. Trust wow. me when I tell you, keep your hands low when you cross under that upper track there. It's a little crazy. That's low clearance. Uh, but other than like the two coasters, you got the world's tallest sky coaster. Yeah. And then like an infinity swing uh, towards I Drive, which we'll shoot footage of that. But before we go, I got a random quiz for you guys. Post in the comments section. On our Florida trip, I'm going to zoom in a piece of coaster. You guys have to guess which coaster that is. All right. And we'll give you a shout out in our next vlog if you get it right. There you go. But other than that, had a great time. This wraps up day one, SeaWorld Orlando and the Fun Spots uh, from GP Coasters. I'm Mike. 
And I'm Jimmy. Peace out, guys. Peace.